Alex here with a video on electronic coverage versus public trials or pub, uh, let's say public courtrooms. So electronic coverage versus public courtrooms. I actually hate that I have to do this video. I feel like this is so obvious, yet I continue to get not just viewers, but attorneys and judges even mention this to me. The thing that is mentioned is that according to the Constitution, courts are open. Well, that's nice, but that means people can like literally walk down to the courthouse, go into a courtroom and sit in the audience. Not many people have time for that. And I don't I don't know sometimes if like I think with the viewers, they're just sincerely naive about it. But sometimes I wonder when I hear it from attorneys. <laughs> People don't have time to go into a courtroom and sit in random cases and learn about the process. It's completely unrealistic. It takes forever to get into the courtroom. You have to go through finding a parking spot. You have to wait around in line to get through security. Then you will often wait around forever for a case. Some of the cases are stacked. So if you are going to watch a particular case, you could be waiting for two hours before it's called. And then it might not even be very long. It might be like a, a five minute case that you are waiting around two hours plus all of the time to get through the line and the security and all that. Um, the other issue is you don't really have a full understanding of what's going on when you just drop in a random case. That's why on our Nevada judges, they provide comprehensive uh, coverage and I stick with the case all the way through so that at least people can get a sort of history or timeline of what's going on. But here I am doing this video because apparently it's not that obvious. So electronic coverage is the only way to make courtrooms open. Making, understanding that there's a right for people to, to like physically go into a courtroom is such lip service to the idea of uh, transparency in the courtroom because that is just going to have maybe one one hundredth of a percent of effectiveness to cameras in the courtroom and electronic coverage. People are so busy, and if you make it way more convenient for them, they will watch. That's one of the things that I learned with our Nevada judges. And I didn't know that that was gonna happen, just in case anyone's wondering. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe I'll publish these videos and no one's gonna care. Turns out lots of people care and lots of people watch them. And I think that that shows that the public does wanna learn about the judicial process. They just wanna do so in a way that's convenient. So when you have electronic coverage, now somebody can watch on the weekend when they don't have to go to work somebody can watch on a lunch break like say there's a 15 minute hearing who's going to want to spend 40 minutes to find parking and get into a courtroom to watch a 15 minute hearing compared to sitting down opening their phone clicking on a link and watching it and then they can even watch in parts so you can watch like two minutes and then come back and finish it off later on you can't do that in a normal courtroom if you leave that's it you missed it and it's just so obvious to me, but I continue to get this issue being, you know, it's brought up over and over again. So I'm doing this video so I can just send people my link so they can just watch this video and learn why electronic coverage equals open courtrooms and everything else is just, it's lip service. It's nothing. It's fake. No one's going to go and physically go into a courtroom to watch a random case to learn about it. But lots of people will go online and watch a case at their convenience. I hope that this makes sense to a lot of people. I hope that people um, understand the importance of electronic coverage when it comes to people learning about the court process because that is the way you're going to actually get people to watch and learn about the court process. Not telling them they can just come down to the courtroom and sit in the audience. It's just not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> it's just, I mean, if you even look at some of our videos where we have like 100 views, somebody might think, Oh, well, that video is lame. Only 100 people watched it. Well, you know what? Guess how many people sat in the audience and watched it? One. A lot of times it's empty. A lot of times zero, nobody. So even in the videos where there's like 100 views, that is 100 people in the audience. People should think about that. That's completely different from what the courts are used to, which is they're just empty courtrooms. The only time it gets crazy and it gets packed is when there's like the O.J. Simpson type of case and there's a bunch of others out there now after him. I can't even remember them off the top of my head, but um, th they get like tons of media coverage and then you'll get like a packed courtroom. But even a packed courtroom is nothing compared to electronic coverage of one of those particular proceedings. Because, I mean, if you take a look at we covered the um, pandemic unemployment insurance case in Nevada, 
and we're like tens of thousands of viewers, you can't fit tens of thousands of people in a courtroom. So even those cases with, with high publicity still benefit from electronic coverage. So I feel like this is an obvious video. I feel like <laughs> in a way it was a waste of my time to do it, but because I continue to get questions on this issue, I decided to go and do the video. Go ahead and do the video anyway, and I'll just use it as a reference video when I get emails and stuff on this topic. Um, always, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time.